The ABC can reveal only a handful of Queensland venues have been prosecuted in the last three years for serving alcohol to drunk patrons. The police union says the rules aren't being properly enforced. It comes as the government introduces lockout laws to reduce alcohol fueled violence. At these late night club parties, the drinks are flowing. It's against the law to sell alcohol to an obviously intoxicated person. Figures obtained by the ABC show in the last three years just four venues and five bar staff have been prosecuted. Alcohol researcher Gavin Polk says the government is overlooking the issue and claims it's a major flaw in their plan to tackle alcohol fueled violence. If a hotelier or staff serve an obviously intoxicated person um, and they walk out of that hotel and they walk across the street and they're hit or killed, then liabilities could be connected back to the hotel. Breaching the law carries a fine of almost $60,000 for the venue and more than $9,000 for the staff who serve the drinks. The police union says liquor licensing regulators need to step up enforcement. I'd suggest the figures of the prosecutions would no way equate to what is really occurring out there within society. I would suggest it is far greater people who are heavily intoxicated who are being served. But bar managers in Brisbane's party precinct argue most owners are doing the right thing. Well, there's always going to be rogue operators out there and rogue bartenders as well. And one of the good things about legislation is that the onus is on the bartender if they misbehave then it actually does fall upon them. It's obviously our responsibility as owners and managers to make sure they are doing their job correctly. Industry groups say bar staff need more training and tougher testing before they're accredited to serve alcohol. Things like that that can, uh, that can teach staff and empower them to have the confidence to say no to people as well is all positive stuff. To keep staff and patrons within their limits. Isabella Higgins, ABC News.